Madame Pele putting on quite a show on the Big Island. This spectacular video was sent to us over the weekend from the U.S. Geological Survey, and it shows some beautiful video of lava fountaining into the air. Well, visitors are flocking to the Big Island's Hawaii Volcanoes National Park to try to get a glimpse of the lava that's spewing from that fissure near the Pu'u'o'o crater. Scientists with the observatory have been in the field all day monitoring the lava flow. They say it looked like the fissure eruption was waning this morning, but then it started up again. KITV4's Jody Leong has the story. It looks like the earth is unzipping. The Volcanoes National Park says the erupting fissure is attracting locals and visitors from around the world, although Chain of Craters Road remains closed. But we still have many miles of trails for people to hike across lava lakes, into uh, acid deserts, and even residents are seeing the glow from their homes on all sides of uh, Puo. The last fissure eruption happened 14 years ago, near the area where this eruption started at Kilauea Volcano in 1983. What's different about this fissure eruption is there is also a summit eruption happening at the same time. This is the first time that we've had two sustained vents on the same volcano at the same time. The 1997 fissure eruption lasted less than 24 hours. The eruption that started late Saturday afternoon has been going for more than 48 hours now. That's great news for Volcanoes National Park employees who are excited about the rise in visitors and the event itself. I've worked here 11 years now and this is like a dream come true to see a fissure eruption. The volcanic event is also causing a slight increase in inquiries and business for helicopter tour companies that fly over the volcano area. I think uh, if it continues, you know, that's obviously a big draw and people will fly from other islands commercially and come, come over and then fly on the helicopter. Jody Leon, KITV4 News.